no, you're going to Africa on safari, eh? Are you crazy? That's very dangerous. You could run across a very angry lion. I'll have my gun with me. Does it shoot lions? No, stupid, it shoots bullets. Lions are too big to load. How about a nice pop in the mouth? What are you, kidding me? Listen. Maybe you ought to skip going there. Stay home and go hunting here. I love this ducks and geese. But I can't tell the difference between ducks and geese. It's very easy. Ducks go quack quack. Understand? And geese go honk honk. If a pack of birds fly over and they go honk honk, what do you do? Pull over and let them pass. <laughs> What the hell are you applauding about? What are you, seals? That's one of my big ones. And the fat guy better laugh. I see you, the fat guy. I'm gonna put stripes on your face and roll you down the beach for a half hour. <laughs> Very seriously, I'm looking around and I see the food that's on the table. There's flies are starting to die right here, right, right on the plates. How's the food in this place, huh? Don't eat. I brought my girl here for dinner last night and she found a bug in her soup. Oh, that's terrible. What happened? She yelled, waiter. Remove this insect at once. And? The guy threw me out. <laughs> that was a good one, huh, lady? Well, the old broad came alive. We've been up here a half hour, and the old broad finally went, that was a good one, Lou. Stop coughing when I'm delivering funny lines. Put yourself in a hospital and just lay there with the covers open and let the nurse stare at you. Look, if you're hungry, just order something. I hear the tongue sandwich is pretty good. Well, I'll be very honest with you. I never eat anything that comes from an animal's mouth. Well then, how about some eggs? Oh, oh wise man, I'm what are you doing? Steve, really get it. <laughs> Hold on to this autograph, kid. It'll be worth a bundle someday. What do you want to be when you grow up, Billy? A ventriloquist, just like you. Nonsense, he wants to be a doctor, don't you, Billy? <laughs> hey, Bill, anytime you need any advice or a few tips, feel free to look me up, okay, kid? <laughs> Golly, Mr. Ingalls, thanks. Look, Mom. It's lovely, let's go. We still got our date, don't we? I know this great little after-hours joint. I I'm not feeling very well. What do you mean you're not feeling very well? Don't listen to him, baby. He's never felt better. Let's go. <laughs> and where are you going to take me to? How about our bungalow, toots? What? We'll show you our etchings. <laughs> you are so cute. And you? You're not so bad yourself. Okay, Mom. Lights out. I said now! We're here. Uh, Come on, Tim. Uh, wow. Where are we? Is this? 136. Must be it. Hi, Mr. Ingles. Hello, hello, sir. You probably... No. Hi, sir. You probably don't remember me. My name is um, Billy Goldman. Um, I met you a long time ago. Mr. Engel, sir, you probably don't remember me, but my name is Billy Coleman. Piss off! You want it in writing, huh? Piss off! I have been driving for three days. I am not leaving until you talk to me. Oh. Hi, my name is Tim. Hi, uh, can Marty come out and play? Oh, shit. Come on in, Nick. Well, close the door, schmuck. It's not a barn. Hey, hey, it ain't gonna be that long, huh? What's on your mind? Make your point. 
I'm, I'm Billy Goldman. Uh, you said I could look you up. Oh, yeah? Well, um, it was 15 years ago. I, I was 11 years old. Oh, he's got a memory like an elephant. Uh, how lucky can you get? I was there. I, I saw your last performance. How was I? You, well, you were great. You were unbelievable. Good answer. Who writes your material? Wow. Is that Morty? Can I, I want to... No, hey, hey, don't touch that. Leave it alone, will you? He's retired, like me. What is it with you? What do you want from me? So much history. So many memories. Showgirl dies in a tragic resort fire. Famous ventriloquist injured. Some memories are better than others. I'm not even sure how the fire started. All I know was I lost everything that night. Everything. Couldn't you operate on Morty with your left hand? Left, left, left. That's good for opening doors and swatting flies. This is the hand that had the magic in it. Why did you come, huh? To stir up old memories? To pry into my pain? Speak up, damn it! Um, tomorrow is uh, amateur night at the oh, nautical club. Uh, who gives it? I wanted my first time in front of an audience to be on the very same stage that I saw you perform. I was hoping that maybe you could come by and, uh, and give me uh, your critique, you know, maybe some pointers. I don't go out much. Yeah, well, thanks. Um, sorry I wasted your time. Mr. Ingalls, ever since I saw you that night, you've been my idol. Because of you, all I've ever wanted to be is a ventriloquist. I gotta know if I've got what it takes. Only you can tell me that. Hey, kid. What's your name again? Billy Goldman. Billy Goldman, you forgot your act. Billy! I'll think about it. I'll think about it. What do you think, Morty? Oh, you said it sounds like a cat in heat. I think she's pretty good. Hey, watch it. Big tits. That's the secret to amateur night. Always make sure you got big tits. Otherwise, you're <laughs> sunk. Excuse me. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my God. He actually came. He's here. He's here. Right, let's go, you are. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Hey, okay. Hey, my chair. They have your chairs. They're waiting for you. What's up with them? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, amateur night love continues at the Nautical Club with an unknown, unheard of, and likely to stay that way. Just kidding. <laughs> the fabulous ventriculism of Tim. That's your name. Billy. My name's Billy. And Billy. Tim and Billy. Come on. Put your hands together. Come on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gents. Oh, bring I just, back uh, a fucking girl with the tits. I just recently flew in from New Jersey. It's your eyes and my eyes are tired. Come on, kid, you can do it. myself I'd like to take this time to announce that we have a special guest in the audience here. Uh, a, a man who, without any doubt, is probably 
the world's greatest ventriloquist. Oh, what? Who cares? Who's a dummy in that chair? Pie. Want to buy a girl a drink? You know, you're kind of cute. You look like my grandfather. I have a special today on family members. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Well, if you change your mind, I'm down there. Perk up. It was terrible, wasn't it? It wasn't terrible. Okay, it was terrible. You had no technique, no concentration, and no material. And you had no idea how to work the audience. Billy, I suggest you look for another line of work. Yeah. Listen, um, thanks for coming down, and um, I'm sorry about the wasted trip. Billy. Billy, I'm truly sorry. Believe me. I know what it's like when your whole life's dream crumbles like dust in your hand. Thanks. Buy you a drink, my dear? What was I fucking thinking about? My mother was right. Everybody's been right. Fuck you! Ah! Oh! Ah! What happened here? At first, we thought they were necking, but then the guy saw us and took off running through the woods. Uh, did you see him? Uh, what did he look like? Uh, he was uh, dark. Uh, he, he did it. Trying to set the car it sticks of gas. Nobody, nobody smoke. No, 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 don't smoke. Nobody smoke. Mr. Engels? Oh my get God! Get out here, it! <laughs> hey, hey, just get that! What the hell are you pulling here? Hey, give me that. That's my morphine. Give me that. What the hell, Frenzy? You idiot! Don't you know what you're doing? You nothing but a junkie! Ah! To think I admired you! To think I wanted to be just like you! Please, please don't hurt me! You killed that woman tonight, didn't you? No, no, not, not me! Don't lie to me, old man! You killed her! No, You no. stink of gasoline! You tried to set a fire to cover it up, just like that other woman 15 years ago! No, no, I set those fires, but I never killed any of those people! Then, then who killed her? Who killed her? Morty! Who? Morty. He hates women. He's never been able to have a woman in a normal way. Oh, I... I try to stop him. But there's just no reasoning with Morty. He's very willful. And very psychotic. Mr. Ingalls, there's, um, people who understand, uh, People who can help you. What are you saying? I'm crazy? Split personality? That I hear voices in my head in the middle of the night? I think you better go now. Before Morty tries to hurt you. Morty can't hurt me. He, he, he's made of cloth and wood. Nothing else. You don't know what you're saying. 
I'll show you. Woody, please, not again. He can't hurt me. Ugh. He's, he's not real. He can't do anything. He isn't alive. He's just a dummy. They manufactured him. I'll prove it to you. Come here, Mr. Engels. Come over here and take a look at this. He isn't real. He's constructed of wood and cloth. Some wires, some cables. <laughs> My brother! He's dead! Here's Woody! We were born like this. I guess we were meant to be twins. But nature can work in a cruel way sometimes. Rather than go through life as freaks, we decided on a career in show business. Yeah, we decided to put our heads together. That's a joke, son. I don't see you laughing. <laughs> For 15 years, I kept them drugged up, away from the world, especially the ladies. Then you had to come along and stir things up. Get the cleaner! Cut it up! Even destroyed the last of the morphine. The only thing that could calm him down. Now I can't even stop him. He's very willful. What are you gonna do? Talk him to death? Slice him? Unzip his guts? Kill him? Kill him! He doesn't control you! You're the man truth! He's the dummy! I'm the brains of this outfit! It was my idea to go into showbiz! I designed the act! I wrote all the material! I wrote his ad lib! He's just a straight man! I'm the funny one! You know what it's like being stuck with my brother! All those gorgeous babes flaunting themselves and not able to do a thing about it without him! Do it! Carve him up! I'm sorry, Jerry. You're a nice kid. But I gotta chop you. I gotta uh, cut you to steaming little pieces. Stop! You can fight him, Mr. Eagles. You can fight him. Uh, Don't uh, tell everybody about us. Don't put us away in a dark place. Lock us up with all the other freaks. Now do it. Uh, chop his head in two. Kill him. Kill him. Get out of my head, you little shit. Get out of my head. You'll be okay. It doesn't matter, Billy. I'm free. Finally free. Oh, contraire, my friend. Oh, I'm the one who's finally free. in the cheap fucking seats. Ah! Ah! Where are you? Come on out. Where are you? Get the point? <laughs> I'm gonna turn you into a greasy little smear, you ah, Where are you? Over here, turkey. What an ugly bastard. You inbred fucking cabbage patch cat. You're a real schmuck. Ah, I'm gonna turn you into brain fucking pie. Oh, hey, Showtime, folks! 
she says to me, you know a better way to study astronomy? <laughs> well, what did you do then? What else? I showed her my telescope, the big one. <laughs> I'm telling you, she really saw stars that night. Hold the phone. Look what just walked in. Hubba, hubba, yow. What a tomato. Morty, um... About the telescope, did you discover any other new heavenly bodies that night? You bet your ass. Feast your eyes on her. Hey, baby, what are you doing after the show? Stick the material, damn it. Forget the material. The Tootsie's making eyes at me. Warning you. I bet she could set the varnish off a footstool. Good Johnny. Look, we had an agreement. You get top feeling, the ladies are off limits. Now cut the shit or I'm gonna shove it right back into that meat grinder. I think you're gonna find that a little difficult. Yeah. Not to mention uh, painful. What are you doing? Renegotiating our deal, uh, partner. Uh, 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 Try to scratch your ass now, Buster. <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with each other. <laughs> what do you say, folks? Billy deserves a big hand, don't you think? Sheesh. The things some folks will do to get ahead in show business. <laughs> oh well, next time somebody tells Billy he's no dummy, he can say, Wanna bet? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>